In the area of plant ecology, we have studied now for decades the impact of biodiversity on ecosystem functioning. Nevertheless, if we think about agriculture, we still do basically only monoculture cropping. So we were wondering, can we use these benefits of biodiversity, which are really shown in, in ecological research, can we transfer this knowledge to agriculture? So we grow in this experiment monocultures and species mixtures of crops and our hypothesis is that actually growing crops in mixtures will increase productivity through an improved resource use and less pests and diseases. So we have different uh, diversity treatments. Uh, we grow single plants in isolation, so completely isolated from neighbors. Uh, we have monoculture plots, so with only one species. We have two species mixtures and we have four species mixtures. And we repeat uh, the whole setup in two different fertilizing conditions. So one with fertilizers and one without any fertilizations. We are planting eight crop species. Two of them are cereals, wheat and oat. Two of them are legumes, lupin and lentil. Two of them are ancient herbs, flax and false flax. Two of them are new herbs, quinoa and coriander. Este experimento se está desarrollando en dos lugares, aquí en España, a los pies del Parque Nacional de la Serra de Monfragüe y luego tiene su réplica en, en Suiza, en Zúrich. Inicialmente tuvimos que crear los bancales e instalar el sistema de riego. El siguiente paso fue la siembra. Para ello, desde Suiza, se desarrolló un mapa en el que se reflejaba dónde debíamos sembrar cada una de las especies. And during all this process, we were measuring um, light interception and soil moisture to see how the environmental conditions change in function of the treatment. Estamos registrando el desarrollo de las plantas, en qué momento determinado cada una de las especies se encuentran en un estadio determinado, cuándo ha germinado, cuando ha comenzado la floración, la formación de semillas, maduración de las semillas. So now we are measuring plant traits um, and particularly leaf traits. So we are taking leaf samples from all the species from every plot and we are uh, scanning them to have their leaf area and then we will dry them and weigh them to have um, dry matter content and other plant-specific traits. Now, at the end of the experiment, we are going to do the most important part. We will harvest all the species. Las semillas, una vez recolectadas, las pesaremos y comprobaremos cuál ha sido la productividad en cada uno de los maceteros. We will compare the mixtures and the monoculture to see if there is an overyielding in the mixtures. With this experiment, we will improve our understanding of the underlying processes of biodiversity effect in cropping systems. We will be able to quantify the intensity of plant-plant interactions, be it facilitation or competition, and we will be able to identify the ideal combinations of crop species or traits of certain crop species that do very well together and use the resources very efficiently. The idea of this is to really make agriculture more sustainable and ready for the future.